Okay, no problem. When you say that you believe yourself to be Caucasian, tell me why you believe that to be true. Well, I know I'm a Caucasian because when I wake up in the morning, I just have such a great life and that my hair is so perfect, my skin isn't ugly, and I'm not fat also, which is also a really African-American thing. So like, I'm just nowhere near like them. And plus they're so thug and criminal that I can't relate. Okay. Wow. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> like, uh, this kid, like, seriously, I'm, I'm I'm actually lost for words because I, I don't. Wow. Like, because race is really biologically determined. I know I'm biologically white. I feel and, it through my veins and through my blood. I don't just think I'm white. I know that I'm white. And There's no doubt in my mind. You even, said, even though I have told you that your father was not your father and that you are actually African American, you might be lying. I don't trust anything that anyone else says. I know that I'm white. Ethnicity. You see, and there lies the problem, or part of the problem. You see, this kid has been has been around so many people that are not of her color. This kid is hanging around, you know, things that she can't have. She doesn't think her people are like that. Because you can see from the mom's response that the mom is married to a, a, a white man. And I have no issues with that. Hey, each to their own. Do you, boo-boo. But the problem is this, right? Because this kid hasn't been around black people in a positive manner. Okay. I mean, think about it. It's like, let's assume you, you, you're white or whatever it is, Asian or whatever. And then somebody places you in an environment that is, you know, the stereotypical one. So, for instance, if, if you're white, you're living in a trailer park. If you're black, you're living in the ghettos. If you're Asian and you're based in the U.S., they're saying, oh, no, no, maybe you're driving a, a, a cab or whatever it is. Whatever the stereotypical thing is for your group of people is, is where you've been placed. It's most likely for you to think that way. The same way if you're uprooted and you're put in a, in a different environment where the stereotypical things don't happen, you're most likely to think that way as well. So, for instance, a black kid that, you know, doesn't grow up in a ghetto, doesn't grow up in the struggling environment. Some people will say, oh, you speak white. You understand the point I'm trying to make? And it's not because that kid speaks white. It just speaks the way his environment or her environment was or is. Or you dress white, and 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 that, that, those are the kind of issues. Your environment shapes you. Your environment, you know, affects the way you see things, and it and it truly, you know, um, have a huge impact on the kind of person you become. And because this kid, you know, has seems to me anyway, that he hangs around because the stepfather is white probably lives in a white environment, goes to a typically, you know, a school where probably there's very few black people. She probably has very few black friends. She hasn't been able to actually see um, good black role models. And I think the mom has done a terrible job of raising her. That all the things she hears, all the things she probably see is, is, is a typical terrible things about the black race especially the ones in the u.s and therefore this reinforces this all the stereotypes she hears and and then it doesn't make you want to be part of the situation now that we can change our race anyway and look it, it, it's sad Again, it's very sad when a 16-year-old black girl walks around spitting this kind of venom, walks around talking this kind of nonsense, walks around acting a fool, 
and making her own people look like they are second class. Not even second. They are not even humans. This is just, it's, it's, it's plain craziness. And again, I'm surprised that the mom put it on TV. Instead of, you know, um, dealing with this um, foolishness, I hope. This foolishness shouldn't have even, you know, got into this stage. Because the kid didn't really wake up yesterday thinking, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm a white woman. This nonsense had probably been brewing for God knows how long. And instead of eradicating it, the mom probably, you know, um, what was the right word anyway? Um, kind of nurtured this nonsense. You know, she, she probably became an enabler. Oh, well, you know, she thinks that way. Oh, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do with her. Nonsense. Look, people. If you are so lucky to be blessed with a child, or if whatever circumstances you find yourself in, you end up with a child, please, please, you know, knees on the floor, you know, begging place. Ensure you raise a reasonable person. A person who does not, who knows who they are. A person who understands where they come from. But most importantly, a person that does not get themselves lost in this craziness that we call the world and life. Anyway, let me know in the comment sections what you think. And please do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Peace.